I want to address something because I get a lot of people who tell me that they seem to have a problem planing the edges of boards square. Now, when you have two boards that are coming together for a tabletop or uh, um, a panel of some kind, it's not so much a problem because, let me show you first of all what the issue is here. Here I've got two boards that are out of square. Say I'm planing the edge of a board like I am with these two, and I'm going to join these together for a tabletop, say. So I take my shavings here, I look at this, these two boards together, I look at them and say, oh, I'm way out of square, does it matter? No, because one compensates for the other. When you bring the two together like this, one is compensating for the other, so it doesn't matter. But when it comes to the edge of a narrow board on its own like this one, if this is out of square or you plane it out of square, it's much harder to get it, the, the squareness that you really want. So I'm going to take a look at this because I got these from the timber company and I found maybe there it is. I'm out of square by about a millimeter and a half, which is a long way out of square, which is really quite unusual. So what I have to do is plane this edge square. I've only got one board, I don't have two, I'm not doing the edge jointing thing. So what I do is put it in the vise, and generally I use one of two planes, a number four or a four and a half, a four and a half or a five and a five and a half, smoothing plane or jack plane, either way, whichever you want to use. So I'm going to put my plane on here. If I keep planing like this, then I'll just be maintaining that bevel on the top edge, which is not what I want. So sometimes I've heard people say that you move this lateral adjustment lever off center or off to the side to, to change the depth of the cut on one side of the plane only, so it's protruding past the sole more. That's no good. That doesn't work. I can't do that, and I'm sure most people can't do that. So what the alternative is to have it perfectly parallel, then the other one is to say, well, can't you plane over? That's also quite difficult. What I'm going to suggest is this. Place the plane on the wood. This is my high point on this side here. So I move my plane, nudge it over to that side. I've got my fingers just underneath the sole here. I've got my thumb on the top, and I take that first opening stroke and I get a very, very thin shaving on here that is only one eighth of an inch wide. That's great. So I move back, same again down here, same again down here. Let me just level my board up a little bit so you won't feel. I like it tilted when I'm on my own. So here, so what's happening now is my shaving now has moved. It's now a quarter of an inch wide. It's much wider than it was. Keep your fingers there. Now this shaving is so much wider, it's about half the width of my um, uh, board, which is great. It's exactly what I want. So I, I'm keeping my plane intuitively level. I'm, I've developed this ability. See, I'm not skewing the plane. It's wrong to skew the plane. You want it as square to the length, to the long axis as you can get it. Now I feel much more confident because I've got full registration of the sole on the piece of wood. And now we'll take a look and see how Paul did. When we offer this to the board, I'm not saying you'll get this right every time. Can you see, if I offer this to the wood, can you see I'm out of square, not anywhere near as much as I was out of square before, but still a little bit. So I go back into the vise, watch what I do this time, get rid of this shaving, and I bring my plane over to this side this time. So I've got this part of the blade registering on the wood. I'm gonna check myself now and see how well I did. And there, I feel like I'm square now. This is where I want it to be. I've got a square edge. Have I got square edge all the way along? I have. So that's where I ended up. That's what I wanted. So by moving the plane over to the side, instead of trying to count the plane, 
trying to cant the blade, the cutting iron assembly inside the plane. Just work the side of the plane on the high spot as I just did and you'll end up with a square edge. <laughs>